Hello and welcome. This is Matt Kluse, Senior Technical Account Manager with EAC, and I want to welcome you to this week's Tip of the Week. This week what we're covering is some new functionality in Creo Parametric 3.0, and this functionality is going to be very important if you work on molds, if you work with tooling, or really anything where you need to check and see what the thickness is of your model. In the past, it's been a, a scenario where you had to use different tools, cut sections, and try to understand every, every point of your model and see what the thickness is. Inside of Creo Parametric 3.0, there is a new 3D thickness check, which allows you to analyze a part for the maximum and minimum thickness. So the way this works is pretty simple. You go ahead and select the, the item, uh, the uh, action under the analysis tab. And what we're going to do is select the whole part. And now what we can do is choose values here, uh, the minimum as well as the maximum. You're going to see when it runs the calculations, you're going to get color coding on the model to show you exactly where those areas are at. So we'll just choose 2.5 and 3.5 for minimum and maximum, respectively. And we'll go ahead and compute. You do have the opportunity to use post-processing here as well. So if you're working on a very large assembly, you're going to see this can take a couple seconds to run. You can go ahead and speed up that process. So you can see down here in the left hand corner, it's going to take a couple seconds to run. And when we're done, you're going to see, again, color coded. Anything that's in the red, and you can change these colors if you want, is going to be something that is exceeding that maximum value that we've chosen. Anything in the purple is going to be areas where it's below the minimum value that we've chosen. So again, if you're designing molds and you want to see if there's going to be a short shot, or maybe you're just designing tooling, this is the type of thing that a lot of times takes a lot of time and effort in other pieces of software. With Creo Parametric 3.0, it's very simple and straightforward. You also get a little notification here, minimum thickness value, and was that minimum thickness violated? Because most of the time we're not as worried about exceeding the maximum, it's more of are we going below the minimum. The other nice thing here is uh, these are parameters that can be recalled in drawings and other areas as well. So that is the 3D thickness check, pretty simple and straightforward, but again, if you're working on, on part design, tooling, mold making, this is very important, very helpful, and a huge time saving feature. If you have any questions about this tool, how it works, or any, anything else, feel free to uh, write comments or questions below uh, the video. And please uh, feel free to search any of our other tips of the week that we have on YouTube. And also feel free to look EAC up on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And if you have any other questions, uh, reach out to us at EAC, Product Development Solutions. We're here to help, and thank you for your time.